Should we really be off work this early? There is still a lot left to do. Got the food. Sit, pumpkin. You're already sitting. Firecracker, sit. Sit, firecracker. Alright, which one am I going to feed? Looks like pumpkin was better. Okay, jealous firecracker. Your turn to sit. Sit. All the way down. Extract the pumpkin, second, put the bait in there, and he drinks up. <clears throat> uh, Welcome back, Megalotrium here. We're going to continue with Genshin Impact. If you remember last time we were playing, we were in the middle of the uh, main quest using uh, Scaramouche, uh, also known as Balladeer, also known as the Hat Guy. Um, he uh, was going back and remembering or learning about his memory that it's he forgot. So nice to and he wants to inherit his old memories back so he can become himself again, but hopefully on the good side instead of the bad side. Um, we'll see what, how that goes. It sounds like the game's already started. You can hear it. There we are. Alright, let's see where they pick us up back. We'll talk to the uh, reminiscent drift. If it's back to the beginning, we'll go quickly through if we can, otherwise, we'll. Catch us up where we were. It's looking like this might take us back to the beginning. These are four of our stronger people. I think we can help any fights with them. If there are any. Actually, there were a bunch. Like they're not this very looks like an Inazuma. Right now, you're in a dream I created using information extracted from your memories. These memories will show you the raw truth. But be aware that enemies may react just like in the real world. Please be careful. Okay, this is at the very beginning, so I'll be very quickly. Sounds curious. like an immersive experience. You don't need to do this for me. We never give up halfway. What? All right. Wanderer. Is that because you... Barefoot's... This place is... No, there's... Hmm? <sighs> You're... Uh -huh. This man is... And the rest is hidden in the original version. Let me get you... During the Tatarasuna incident, Niwa was murdered by the doctor to Scott as the second link by Katsuragi. <sighs> Katsuragi seems like he was a good guy. He looks like a warrior, but he has a kind face. Why couldn't he live a long and happy life? Well, look what we've got. We missed this last time. Nagamasa, I found this young guy in a cave sealed off by a landslide. He doesn't remember his name. Well, we need to call you something. I right hear the workers are calling you the Kabuki Mono. It's fine with me. Katsuragi, report to Niwan. Tell him we have someone new joining us. Abandoned. Okay, I heard my mom. He kept calling. But you can't. Right, so. Yup. Well, this child, he after his friends, mother, after child. leaving, to what happened to the child? He died from his illness while he was still very. Hey! What's wrong? Say something! You promised me we could be family! 
The voices have gone. Let's keep going. I do realize you're blocking my path. I come not to obstruct you. I have been waiting. What you are truly is a weapon. One that could be wielded with an iron will. Or you could continue to drift aimlessly. Are you trying to win me over? Fated rebellion has begun. Oh, yeah. Shall I not take your place at the banquet and join those who shall is dark. Ugh. Paimon knows this place. In the original version of events, such a creepy atmosphere. I remember it unsettling the place. Hey, look over there! Well, well, my fair lady. Is this yeah, rundown yeah. factory and these incompetent fools all for me? Wow. You shouldn't have. <laughs> what do you have to gain from belittling? Yeah, they, they Perhaps they you find fun. <laughs> What funny how negotiating never seems to be your strong suit. For the task ahead, yeah, I suggest you keep your... Tr hmm. Save your breath. Months. I'm sure you think so. Surely. I just can't have you... I merely... Do you remember the last time you were here? That was a lot of swordsmiths you killed. I'm sure the descendants of the Raiden Goka... Look at you. Bye then. See you at the victory feast. Poor little tongue. <sighs> Forget. <sighs> the plot does not. Yes. Why are you staring at me in silence? <laughs> Can't you think of a nicer way to express yourself? I'm under no obligation to be nice to you. Besides, I thought nothing mattered to you except results in your own interests. Isn't that right? Which. <laughs> Mother-headed puppet. You're only number six because you can take more abuse than other humans. Do you really count that as an asset? You're about as much fun to be around as a raging inferno. 
before we murder each other, it'd be best if we finish our duties. As a dutiful made one, leave it all to me. We're way behind schedule. Don't <laughs> touch you. No touching. in Samiru. Uh, is that? Considering that Amorta's sage, Nafis, refused to join this project, I'll take part in the experiment. Welcome. <laughs> when do we start? You seem impatient. You, you should know that guy. the biological transformation, nothing worse than what I've been. You were the most resilient test subject I ever came across. Thanks to you. Alas, after that, you were... That was gracefully worded. I suggest... The doctor again? That person gives off a very... It's normal for him. <laughs> Let's move on. Alright. I think this is where we're at. So we're caught up. Do a little slow from the other. You're a god. Do you think I'm evil? If you accept that he is you, just as you are you, then yes, you are evil. In your eyes, are there any differences between humans and puppets? Do you think there are any differences between your present self and your previous and future incarnations? If not, then what are the differences between humans and puppets? Whoever has tasted the joys and sorrows of life in the human realm is human. Whoever has loved and lost, cried with grief, howled with rage at the tragedy of death that eclipses the miracle of life, they are human too. <sighs> I've seen enough of my past. If possible, I'd like to reclaim the sins that are mine to bear. No matter the consequences, I won't run from blame or punishment. Whatever I am due, 
let it come to pass. Can you return my memories to me? Huh? But won't that mean you lose your current identity? I've always believed that human lives follow a set of rules. With each person being a collection of past experiences, as a puppet living in a human world, my life is subject to the same rules. Regaining your memories means reverting completely to your previous incarnation. All the emotions that you discarded will return to you. Are you sure you want to do this? I've lived with the void in my chest my whole life. My creator didn't need me. And ever since I awoke, I've just drifted from one place to the next. But then I met you. And I finally realized that reclaiming my missing sins might be my one opportunity to become my true self. This is the true meaning of greater the Lord through about his words. A person can't erase themselves, even the original even though the original Belladier is gone, the person will move on in his place. Our person sins and innocent people are I've always felt destiny. to have an innate tendency to yearn for something more, in a way that goes deeper than for most people. But for all my soul searching as a Shugenja, I've never fully understood it. Looking at it now, it seems that I brought this curse upon myself. So I beg you, grant me this opportunity to gain a purpose, to change my destiny, and end my wandering. Very well. Since your mind is made up, I will return to you that which is yours. made your decision. Now, take this. <sighs> Set him free. A puppet? What's he doing here? <sighs> it's... You're a human as far as I'm concerned. Everyone's here. Wonderful. What a fine blade. Nagamasa will be thrilled. Uh, uh, this is... my... Uh. Uh, is he alright? Why? This won't be the end! Significant past! At my 
command, you shall fall! The wind rises. Significant past! Imbecile! Get out of my sight! Disappeared! Did we win? What did you expect? I'd never lose to that. Sorry. I'm harsh on myself and everyone else. Just the way I am. Now you've recovered your memories, the past will catch up to you. <laughs> you sound like you're concerned about me. But don't worry. Thanks to you, even if I didn't change a thing, at least I now know the truth. The memory recovery seems to have been a success. This dream has served its purpose. Come on. Let's continue this outside. Oh, it's that close. Your chest? Did all that no chest? Mm. It's because I really can. Welcome back, traveler. Paimon, Balladeer. <sighs> It feels like we just went on a really long journey. Paimon's exhausted. <sighs> you don't like being addressed by that name? It's fine. But I was just thinking, I should probably change it. You won't go by the Balladeer anymore? After learning about everything the doctor did, there's no way I can carry on using a name connected to him. I'm not planning on returning to the Fatui. And they wouldn't take me back anyway. Recent events will have affected a lot of people, and they might not even remember who the sixth is. So, you're quitting the Fatui for good? Let's call it a tactical. <sighs> it's like you said, Lesser Lord Kusanali. Everything may look futile, but it wasn't completely meaningless. At least I made a lot of people forget about me. But that doesn't mean your own past has disappeared. Of course. And your main goal, for which you gave up everything you had, you weren't able to achieve it. I hope you can see and understand that. Changing the world, changing the past, changing the fates of other people, these are not simple things to accomplish. What you are looking for is complete annihilation. But this is just a fantasy. Even if the Balladeer is removed from existence, the world will not heed your will. Indeed. <laughs> How ridiculous. Do you regret doing all that when you've gotten so little in return? Even if I'm completely worthless, there's nothing in the world worth regretting. Lesser Lord Kusanali, you purposely left that information in Ermansol, didn't you? Yes. And I took pains to make sure that you'd acquire that information naturally. Why would you go to such lengths? You trying to win me over too? In all honesty, your past experiences have made you a useful asset to Sumeru and to me. Winning you over was indeed a part of my plan. But before that, I wanted to tell you the truth about your past. If all I wanted to do was use you, then I'd be no different from the Doctor. Very clever. 
I guess you could say that's one of my virtues. Utility to others is what gives me worth. Self-embracing my sins is what it takes to make me useful again. So be it. Naida doesn't see you in that way. Oh, right. I almost forgot. You're the good guys. You're into justice and all that. Sorry if I have a slightly different perspective on things, but I don't feel like I've been duped. The wisest leaders are fated to end up with the best helpers. I can live with that. I'm glad you're able to think of it in that way. Traveler, in the future, I'll continue to search Ermin's soul more deeply and see what secrets can be uncovered. Including the beginning of your twin's journey recorded in Ermin's soul. What exactly happened before and after that point? I want to know as well. Thank you. Well, let's hope we can find some I answers. I will try. Traveler. Yes? After I dove into the information torrents in Ermensoul, why did you go to Inazuma? Because I wanted to know what you... that... know what you changed. So that's how you found out whose fate had changed. And how. Well, whatever your reasons, you did me a favor. And I'll do everything I can to pay it back. I didn't do all this for a reward. Please don't make it sound like I'm extorting you. Borrowing and returning are the only real relationships between individuals. I'll balance the books one day. Don't you worry. That's not true. A relationship between two people is not simply a ledger that can be reset to zero. I think deep down you realize this. People who show up in your life don't just evaporate like water drops and leave nothing behind. There is no such thing as balancing the books. Some things in this world can never be brought back, and they can never be changed. Which is why there is emotion in the human world. Everything that you feel is real and lasting, and whatever is missing in you will not be made whole. To be human is to live with imperfections. You can choose whether or not you want to be human. Hmm. But humans can't live without a heart, can they? Anyway, I gave up trying to become a human a long time ago. You understand what pain is perfectly well, even without a heart. You're just bearing your feelings. The past is set in stone, but you can keep moving on. And the longer your future lasts, the shorter your past will become, until one day, it is but a tiny fraction of your life. Sounds Less like you've got a future up for me. How are you? Wow, you have a very similar name to somebody else who is on here, Lesabella020. I'm doing great, how are you? Maybe you have more than one account, or maybe it's a different person. I hope you can give Naida a Everything's chance. Everything's ended up being pretty darn complicated. I'm doing very well, by the way. How are you? Hyman doesn't even know where to start, but the most important thing now is that you need to follow Nikita. Otherwise, all our efforts will have been for nothing. Then I guess I'll be helping you from behind the scenes from now on. I'm glad that you've accepted our proposal. Why don't you choose a new name to celebrate? Oh, oh, oh! Paima wants to pick an ugly nickname for you, too! Why? Because... Because... Paima still doesn't like you that much! <laughs> then I hope we don't see much of each what other in the future. Now? A name is choose. life's first gift. You didn't say it out loud, but I know that's what you're thinking. <sighs> the Traveler and Paimon have helped you a lot. If you can't decide on a new name, maybe you can ask them for ideas. Huh? You want us to decide? No! Paimon only does nicknames! If it's a serious name you're after, it's all yours. Actually, I'm an artist, and I'm on the hunt for some clients, so I'm wondering if you have anything else done for uh, have you got anything? Twitch, Discord, or YouTube, like emotes, BFPs, furry art, banner logo, any D&D &D art, any other done to your OC, etc. I hope you don't mind me reaching out to you. 
Oh, I don't mind. I don't need anyone right now, but I appreciate the uh, offer. Rules and disclaimers for name modification. Name rate change rules. You can you can obtain the item an appellative stroke from the Archon Quest interlude inter ver inversion of Genesis, which allows you to change eons adrift, wander, and emo's name. Please take note, some names can't be utilized. Once you've renamed, you have to use a new one, there's a limit, disclaimers. Okay. Edit the name. Okay, so what do we got to name? Alright, we gotta come up with a new name. Um, I think Firecracker is a good name. It fits. I can DM you my portfolio on Discord. Are you sure? Can, can, can you drop your Discord tag? Um, it's actually linked on Twitch. Uh, I don't even know if I have a link or something. It, there's a link on, on uh, Twitch. It should be one of the top links for my page. If you go to me, you can see that. Are you sure? Yes, I think this will do. Oh, alright. If you say so. There. Now you have a name of your own. What about a nickname? Are you done yet? Garfield. Still thinking! Stop rushing me! Take your time. I don't need to see you again until you've thought of one. What do you plan to do next? Everyone who manipulated me and made me suffer will have to pay the price. You mean the Fitui? The doctor, at least. Now that your stance has changed, I believe your future path will change accordingly. But it won't be immediate. You still need some time to compose yourself. Hmm. One more thing. There are still some descendants of the Raiden Gokuden living in Inazuma. Some of them know. Well, they ought to know about the connection between Raiden Gokuden and myself. I don't plan to leave Sumeru for the time being. If you see them in Inazuma, please tell them that I was the one responsible for the Raiden Gokuden's downfall. Even though the events have been erased from the world, they still deserve to know the truth. I see. That is up to you. Huh? But if we do that, then... It's fine. Let them stab their blades into my chest if they so desire. Maybe that's how it always should have been. What's that look for? Don't make that face. I know what I'm doing. That day will come. All right, we're done here. Goodbye, wise deity. And you too. He's gone! What he went through today would have been like living an entire lifetime in an instant. He'll need some time to calm down. Yeah, true. But even so, after everything that's happened, he doesn't seem quite as fierce anymore. There were some bumps along the way, but it's all over now. So we can finally go eat? Paimon is starving! Thank you both. I hope you will find somewhere nice to go and relax for a while. I wonder if we get him now if he's going to be Wanderer or Firecracker. Hmm. 
I can end my novel with some words from Mikoshi Nagamasa. You mean because everyone else in the story is dead? Yeah! I heard that Mikoshi Nagamasa died at a ripe old age. He's the perfect fit to be the narrator of the epilogue. The dark clouds had dissipated, but they continue to cast their shadow in Mikoshi Nagamasa's mind for decades to come. Then, one night, as an old man, he had a dream. On the night when that prized blade, the Daitatara Nagamasa, was forged, the people rejoiced, and there was painting, dancing, and drinking. All these expressions of joy melted down in the furnace fire and turned into red clouds that rallied around the final sunrise that Mikoshi Nagamasa saw in his lifetime. Life is a story too long to be told. A journey that you must walk to behold. <laughs> Sent your request under the name Design Wave. Can you accept it? Um, I I will after the stream. I'll, I'll go on Discord. I don't want to do three things at once. Return to the resting place. Oh, I was going to look at these, so um, he's available here, and I can get significantly upgraded pretty cheap, so I'm going to go ahead and try that. Start this one real quick because this one expires and we'll avoid it sooner rather than later. We did this one last time, let's do the next one that's available. What's this?
behind schedule. Shockwaves, wind current. Hey! <laughs> 
easy. Plunging attacks only have the best in the business. I guess we don't with the puzzle ones. Oh no, one more fight. This one right here. We're already. Every trick available in the domain. Nimbly adapt to the situation to counter its moves and defeat the strange part.
We got him. Success. will sooner die again than lay a hand on me. Firecracker who sits right here where I'm sitting. It's his favorite seat. I don't know where he is. He might come by, he might not. We'll see. you stop, all the tiredness and hunger comes rushing back. Rest up, my mom. Wow, great! Huh? Look at the vase. What about it? Did someone break it while they were cleaning the room or something? Like, Paimon doesn't remember there being a cleaner. That night we stayed here, Paimon bumped into the table after being startled by something to do with the balladeer and broke the vase. The Valadier erased his existence. He changed the world. So why is the you face sound still lost and confused? Who is that? I know why you are troubled. Any who knew of this would find their mind overwhelmed. Huh? Is this what you're familiar. talking to us? Unfortunately, the fate of Tavat cannot easily be changed. Perhaps a god may have a slim chance, but for anyone else, <sighs> who can say? When a small animal runs into a tree trunk, though the tree may sway, it is not displaced. The same is true of fate, like a vase that falls to the ground. Whether it is broken by a cat or by a bird, the result is still a broken vase, is it not? Uh, who are you? How do you know about all this? History does not change easily, but human hearts can. Believe your own eyes. Only that which you see is true. What is unseen is but an illusion. The voice has disappeared. And who the heck was that? And what were they doing coming out of nowhere and saying all that scary stuff? Leave my eyes? Does she mean I should trust my memories? Uh, anyway, that face is still lying there broken on the ground. Should Paimon go get someone to clean it up? It feels wrong just leaving it there. Just a moment, Paimon will be right back.
I wonder what else awaits me in the future. Chapter 3 complete. Alright, now I can pick new names for stuff. Alright, so these other quests are waiting on other teams. This one's waiting on somebody else in the chasm. Let's try to get this one. Let's see what the other quest is. Chasm delivers. So we have to do this dark fog thing. In the chasm. Me, myself, but not I. Inversion of Genesis. Masquerade of the Guilty. Cleaning up unfinished pieces.
great to see you're all right. What? What were those two creatures? I've never seen any one like that before. All right, all right. I need to be so strict. I won't risk provoking you. I know. How did you get in front of us? We came through a hidden mine in the western side that so happens to let us get to the areas infested with black material. Strange creatures. <laughs> Hello. Uh, are you all right? I'm fine, I'm fine. The road is pretty hard to find a little mistake. It might have been some sort of path the treasure hoard has carved out and route to the there are lots statues. But I can't imagine them wanting to come this far down either. Well our campsite isn't too far away. Let's talk as we go, shall we? something you need? You're coughing away. You sure you're okay? I'm alright, really. The air down here is kind of thin. It doesn't sit too well with me. Ah, yes. This is a map I grew up earlier. Well, feels, that feels better. Ah, uh, you should better rest up. Don't go running around all over the place now. Speaking of maps, we've got one for you as well. It's a map of the two strange bells. Seems like something those stars that we Fatui left behind. Thank you, I'll incorporate this location into my map. Wait a minute, did you say Fatui? They've tunneled to this place as well? Certainly looks like it. Well, looks like we've got to be even more careful when exploring the chasm. Speaking of which, we found this. You've been around here more, Shi Chong, so you probably know what this is used for, right? This? I think I found a gate with a symbol similar to this one somewhere deeper down. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I, if I remember correctly, you could hear the wind below that gate. I'm quite sure that there should be a large open space behind it for us to explore. I wonder what relationship that thing has to that gate. Might be a key of some sort. <clears throat> Chi Chong's right. This is the device used to unlock the gate. Whoa, where'd you come from? A well, hello before joining a conversation might be nice. Sorry, um, I was just too eager to say that this device, strange device, is indeed used to open doors. I once looked at similar devices, and just as luck would might have it, the device in your hands is an exact match to the one in my research lab. Unfortunately, neither alchemy nor basic mechanics can help us understand the energy held within these devices, nor can they explain the principles behind their ability to unlock and lock gates. A research lab, are you a paleontologist? We, a Murda, take a rather dim view of those who rely purely on theory. That said, we often have to work with those blockheads from Spon Spantamod all the time. Uh, well, that's all I can tell you. There isn't much else to be said with regard to the academia. Oh, I have a pillow fight here. I can keep talking. You can keep going, not that we'll understand or anything, of course. Oh, I'll stop, I'll stop. I didn't inform this exploration team to devote all the street our signatures on me. Whatever the case, if you're able to find if we're able to find that gate that Chi Chong spoke of, we'll be able to find use this strange device to open it. Let's go together, shall we? Ever since you shared this map with me, I've been left with this last section of map. I just thought that we could <coughs> whoops, sorry. You know, we could get it all done in one go. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. We can leave the map thing aside for now. Have you had close contact with that black muddy stuff at any point? 
Oh, I'm fine. The environment's just not sitting too well with me, you know? I mean, this is nothing for a true adventurer. Cough, cough. Nothing. Hey, you better wake up, you hear? You're the only person, I repeat, the only person in the whole team who have shown such serious negative reactions during this process. We have to send you up to the surface to rest. If we go now, there's still time. Alright, alright, don't look at me like that. Do whatever you want. It's not as if I'm your parent or something. Will you really be fine? That's right, you've been coughing this whole way. Cough, I'm fine. I can take it. I joined this team with my own accord. I'm not going to change my decision based on what others say. Hmm, yes, and I suppose that as an adventurer, your primary concern is the remun remuneration. If you're willing to leave, I'll make sure you're compensated. I'll be quite the, it'll be quite the generous package. The representatives from Leeway will understand as well. Cough, cough. Sorry, I'll have to excuse myself now. The area Mangler 3 m cleared out needs remapping. I shan't waste your time any further. Right, Mangler, I'll head to the gate that I mentioned before and later. If that's where you're heading as well, we can meet up there. Hm. This kid is not to be reasoned with at all. We can do harsh on Jichang to die. Exactly. You were so pert, and you didn't explain anything either. Is there any wonder you... That you took her off? Eh, I just didn't expect that she would have literally no concern for her life at all. You know what? Forget it. She can do what she wants. And then she'll regret it later and ask for help. That's how young people are. Always got to take a hit or two before they learn. What exactly is wrong with Chi Chong anyway? What we're facing is, it, in essence, very similar to the anomalies of Dragon's in the sense that their source is something alien to this world of young. And it involves the clash of two energies. And that is why we had to get you on the team, Mango. Since you are able to manipulate the elements without the use of a vision. For normal people like us who neither have the visions nor can man manipulate the elements, there, these anomalies are malignant and fatal. Those who have close contact with the source of the anomalies may begin to lose touch with the world. Some will weaken swiftly, neither. So Chi Chong is in trouble. That's as much as I can say. Wait, then what are we supposed to do? Should we chase after her? Ah, uh, it's her choice. But we can't just stand by and watch. We should at least try, Mangla. Well, don't let me delay you either way. I'll leave you to your own business. There are still a great many secrets for us to discover down there. And if you meet Ji Chong, please take care of her on behalf of the rest of us. <laughs> That's a map of you. Hey Mangler, you're here, Cough. What are you doing here? Cough, what's wrong? You don't look so good. And I annoy you in some way. You know, I'm once having trouble telling who looks worse between the two of you. The road ahead is very dangerous. You know, everyone's actually really concerned about you. These don't care so little about your own safety. I, of course, I know they're worried. But it's like I said before. This is what an adventurer's life should be like.
No adventures in this world would walk in the face of danger, and I have no wish to lie in bed in my dotage, withered by age, relying on others to eat or even to get myself to the toilet. If the alternative is stability and boredom, I'll choose danger any day. I'd rather lay my life down here than lie in some cushy bed waiting for time to claim me. I belong here, I know. Comfy job in the ministry. That's not for me. Could I have some more? It doesn't know me. As opposed to those lucky few who have visions, adventure, exploration, challenge, these are things that can only be truly experienced by normal people like us. So when it comes down to it, it's all about you, huh? Haven't you spared a single thought for others? I've said it before, this is my, per my own personal business. It's got nothing to do with anyone else. I'm sorry they may feel bad about the matter, but must you really go deep into such dangerous places? You want to leave a memory of yourself behind, don't you? Yes, I mean, no, I mean, yes, I just, I just don't want to be forgotten. At least this way I'll have some maps behind and I'll have borne witness to the sights of the cavern. And I would have accomplished all this stepping into the realm of the forbidden as a normal human being. And the trail of the Yaksha has who defended Li Wei in legends may might be beyond this key. If I could reach that place. I don't know if I can make it there, but I wish I could get closer to the end of the places. Perhaps we might truly find a reason for the anomalies here in the chasm. But everyone needs a rest, ordinary or not, and it may be worse than behind the key. We're all worried about you. Please don't take such poor care of yourself. What you need right now is to regain your Strength. Yep, that's right. You should totally get some more rest. The road ahead is still plenty of dangerous. You can just wait for us to finish clearing the obstacles ahead before following after. It won't be too late. Anyway, um, someone needs to record down what we've seen, right? If no rec one records this stuff, no one will remember it, after all. Hmm, you got a point there, Paimon. <laughs> I get it, I'll go back if you insist, but please, keep your wits about you as well. We will. Stay safe on the way back now. Bunny Crimson, hey! Hello, how you doing? Thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. I'm doing very well, how are you? unknown. A Mokshi device, which should have theoretically been able to clear the abyssal corruption from this place, is overloaded and been destroyed. The black pollutant of the main fragment has begun to regenerate. We need to sum up what we've learned thus far. I'm also doing pretty good as well. Thanks for asking. One of several hard strikes aimed at key stress points in the main fragment can cause the black matter to retreat. Our scouting parties have discovered human activity in different locations. Whether human or some other creature is unclear, or perhaps they might even be culprits behind the black matter's propagation. Rare looming stone ore. That's what they were talking about. Leave it all to me.
far around. Um, also, sometimes I play Final Fantasy XIV. I've also in the past played a lot of uh, Rocket League, Monkai Impact III, um, and there's a bunch of other ones too, but those are the most recent ones. How about you? in here. I said I have a job. This tunnel is so long. Why did someone make it so long? What will we find inside? Mentioned the giant serpent lurking. I have a feeling this might be a fight here. Luck light fly. Um, has to do with airplanes. 
This doesn't look like a natural cave. It looks like something huge cut right through this place. Huh? Actually, rammed right through. Might be more accurate. Whatever it is, it's really spooky. Have you discovered... What have you discovered, Pylon? Uh, whatever it is, this is pretty creepy. You know, doesn't that stone tablet look kind of new to you? It doesn't look like it fits in the ruins around it at all. Although the inscription cannot be understood per se, a little observation reveals that the engraving is a map of the surrounding area, and that the other places have something to do with the floating crystal. Oh, I got it. Hmm, so the big crystal has five weird piece devices around it, and these lines are connected to the crystal. Gah, I mind can read this. Why is the diagram so messy? Looks like we need to activate the five devices. Then uh, someone needs to hit the crystal or something and the black spots will disappear. I guess they forgot to draw the spots. After that, wait a minute. Why'd they draw this big worm? Hmm. Looks like the stone tablet is telling me to be aware of the super big worm. Perhaps it's warning us to be aware of stepping on worms. Alright. So hitting the crystal will awaken some kind of great creature. Huh. That sounds a lot easier to get. But still, we've got to try before we know for sure. Also, Mangler, take a look at this purplish, purple-blackish stuff. It's all over the big crystal. Looks pretty similar to the dark mud we encountered before, too. This looks exactly as depicted on the stone tablet. Well, let's start by activating the devices. Yeah, you're right. Oh, oh, you're fearless too, Paimon. Well, we're already here, might as well do something. By the way, you are a daily or a new streamer. Um, I'm not a daily streamer and I'm not a new streamer. I'm actually been streaming for about three years and I usually stream uh, most commonly on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Middle line, hello up, yep. I saw you doing so well, but I noticed that you are not using any professional custom stuff for your channel. Is there any reason? Um, I don't need them. I don't really feel like I need them. That's probably the main reason. I guess my point would be, what is the point? Purify the large crystal bug. So they don't tell you what to do, but they have little dust things, so let's follow those. Oh 
How do I get rid of that purple form? I'm sure there's a way. Let's pick a different one and go for that. Send a mechanism up here. We purified it. Let's get going. Keep going. Yeah, they must be in a specific order. Okay, the next one. Try this one up here. Can we even get up here? Ah, 
to go this way, climb up, and then go at the left back to the back. Let's see if we get close to without actually stepping on it. Well, we have to hit it first. Nope. Gave me no credit for that. And it's been really good. I 
we just hit that thing. this over here. Unless there's an item I'm supposed to use on it. Let's see if I have any magic items that I can use on it. Come to the bit where we apply some external force to the crystal. You ready, Mangler? 
Are you done with the diagrams and stone tablet are reliable? Well, we've come this far. Might as well give it a shot like we always do. But, uh, by mind, what will I ever do without you? Alright, come on, it's a big crystal. Don't you just want to poke it? Strike the large purified crystal. Alright, since it's way up there, let's use the map. that snake they were talking about. Defeat the snake.
Let's read the whole thing. Forget those things. This is the sword markers. Got us. Somebody's pigs. Nice shot. itself in the ceiling. Looks like unexpected collapse occurs, you manage to escape to safety in time. Huh? It, is it over? It feels kind of all feels kind of like a dream. Looks like that thing up there has gone back to normal. The air feels less heavy too. Hmm, even though we've reached the bottom of the chasm, we've de even defeated the creature down there somehow. But it doesn't feel like we've answered any questions. In fact, we've got more questions now than we did before. Like, for example, what is that thing above us? Why did some giant serpent come roaring out? Where did that dark mud and that strange monsters come from? The monsters that follow the dark mud there must have seemed to be eating at the big crystal, and Chi Chung mentioned that an auction was here once. Ah. That is way too many questions for Kaima. Looks like the chasm still has many secrets that are yet to be discovered. Yeah, no wonder adventurers like Ji Chong are so committed to exploring this place. But things should quiet down a bit in here now that we've cleared that big thing up, right? It still looks like a long way off before the mines can reopen. But our exploration mission seems complete. We'll worry about the other stuff in the future. Oh yeah, one more thing. It feels like someone helped us during that fight with the big snake. Did you hear a shroom sound during the fight? Sort of. Well, uh, never mind. We'll head back. We can have Chicha if we saw any strangers. Return to the camp. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and put a cut in the video for now. I think we've had enough fighting for today. Uh, let's see if anyone else is streaming. Check. Oh, that's weird. We don't have anyone right now. We could do Quill 18, but he's got 900 people following him, so that's not particularly interesting. Um, I think we'll stop for now. We'll catch up later next time, next, tomorrow or next week, whenever we have time. Have a wonderful day, and see you guys later. Have a good one.